Hello everyone, I'm Pratik Tyagi Desai. So guys, uh, we are done with the Gate Aerospace exam today. And now the next question arises uh, for all the students and all the people, those who are preparing for Gate Aerospace 2025, uh, how to start our preparation. It's a very, very valid question uh, because we have one entire year in front of us. And how do I start my preparation? Uh, what are the things I should keep in mind from where I should start? and what material I should refer. All these questions are like very confusing and you really don't know what the answer is. So this video I'm preparing not to uh, just focus on like what we provide or what good we get to IIT says uh, or the courses and all. It's more of a general. So even if you're doing self-study, it should help you to plan your preparation for the entire year. All right, so I'll tell you a few things before you start uh, your preparation what you should keep in mind and how step-by-step step you can prepare uh, for Gate Aerospace 2025. All right, so I'll go to next slide. Fine. So first thing you need to understand is who is organizing this. So this time 2025, IIT Roorkee will be organizing the gate. Uh, why this is helpful, I'm not going in detail because this video is more focused on how to start uh, your preparation. But we will see in uh, other coming videos uh, what to keep in track when we say who, what is the organizing committee this year. All right. So you should know before you're starting who is preparing your gate exam. So that is IIT Roorkee. Then guys, first thing when you want to start your preparation, all right, you should know what your syllabus is. So you should understand what you will be doing for the entire year so that you have a proper plan in place. So when I say gate aerospace and when you say uh, understand your syllabus. We have five core subjects, aircraft structures, propulsion, we have aerodynamics, flight mechanics, space mechanics. So these are the five core subjects. All right. And apart from this, you have mathematics and you have general aptitude. So when we say general aptitude, it is for 15 marks. Maths typically ranges for 12 marks and the remaining are your five core subjects. All right. So first of all, you should know what your syllabus is. I have just listed down the topics or the main subjects, but the detail of each subject will be coming uh, in the next video. So you have a separate video explaining what all topics you need to study in aircraft structures in detail, from where you should study, whether you should read Timoshenko, Megzen, what you should read in propulsion, which book to refer, should I go with V Ganeshan, should I go with NPTEL lectures, should I go with Mattingly, and so on. So those are typically uh, detailed lectures. As of now, my intention is when you start your preparation, please, please spend time in understanding what your syllabus is and also try to understand what are the mark distribution. So, you know, space mechanics is typically for three marks. Sometimes it can go for five marks in 2018 that happened, but typically two, three marks, two, three marks. So you should know what is the weightage of this topic? So I should not be preparing a plan in which I'll give two months for space mechanics. That doesn't make sense. Similarly, st aircraft structures can go up to 25 marks. Propulsion can go between 20 to 25. So you should know what is the weightage, what are the subjects, so that you can prepare the plan accordingly. This is your step one when you want to start your grade preparation. Once this is done, you need to prepare an overall plan. Now, this is the most confusing and the most difficult thing to understand, the reason being you have entire year front of you and it is not possible for anyone to prepare a one year plan. It's perfectly fine. <coughs> it's not a day by day plan. So what you do is you divide this into a monthly plan. All right. So you have a target in this month. I will be doing, let's say, basic elasticity. I will be doing uh, linear algebra in maths, something like this. So those plans totally differ depending upon uh, your current situation, what you are doing, I'll come to that. And then you further divide this into a weekly plan. It looks a lot, it's perfectly fine, but it is not, guys. When I say weekly plan, it is simple. In month, you have a plan to finish basic elasticity. That is somewhere around five to six marks in your gate exam. This is a part of an aircraft structures. So when you come to weekly plan, what do you say? I will finish principal stresses. I will finish principal strains. I will finish Hooke's Law. This is my weekly plan. All right. I'm saying when you're doing this on your own, when you do with any institute, when you do with me, when you do with my team, they will prepare a plan for you. So you have a specific target, what you need to read, what you need to solve, 
what are your gate questions and it's a complete plan so your plan is not straightforward it totally depends upon the person what they are doing so you can have you can be in third year of your engineering you can be a fourth year student you can you may be a dropout for preparing gate itself or maybe you are working in uh, some company in, uh, you are working somewhere so all people cannot have a same plan because number of hours for each day differs so keeping your availability you please prepare a plan this is your step 2 so you know what your gate exam is what subject you need to cover and then accordingly you prepare a plan take a help of a person of your friend or your senior who has already given the gate exam maybe your college faculties maybe an institute anyone just try to get some idea how you will frame your whole preparation what should be done till july when you should start your full mock exams when you should appear for subject wise test topic wise test all these things should be clear in your mind it should not be a, a fluke like just go you are just preparing and you don't know what is happening with time so you should understand this once this is done you have a plan ready now the next important thing is from where i will read this this is very crucial guys i have seen people just going in a circle and never ending up with any topic properly now when i say uh let's take an example you want to study uh, jet propulsion all right or you want to study axial flow compressor anything any take any example so what people do is they will study this let's take axial flow compressor they will study from veganation then they will try to see some nptel videos then they will try to see some institute study lectures video lectures or attend some classes and then they will try to uh, go for mattingly that doesn't make sense what should be the idea is take one book now which book for which topic as i told you i will be preparing a separate series in which each subject me and my team the subject uh, matter expert will prepare what topic and which book to refer so specifically let's say you are talking about jet propulsion then i prefer you should read it from cohen and rogers they have beautifully explained uh, turbojet engines turbofan engines but you will not find ramjet engines there so each topic which book to refer which uh, lecture you can see you should know this and don't do this next step don't jump into all materials for one topic there is no point of spending let's say month on a one topic which is only for two marks so don't do that so what should be the plan finish a topic and then go for your previous year gate questions if that topic is well enough covered in your previous uh, book which you have referred you should be able to solve every gate numerical later comes your topic wise tests and your test series whichever test series you are solving or assignment sheets or whatever you are doing just finish one topic and target your gate numericals that will give you a clear idea whether you are on right track how much deep you need to go into this topic have you covered everything if some topics are left seek some help from where i can get this information i don't know what is stalling i don't know what is surging in compressors please help me from where i can read so this is how so understand your syllabus understand the marks distribution prepare a plan and see from where you will going to read it i will help you in every topic every subject from where to read all right once this is done when you are starting initially let's say in feb just now exam is done right and you are starting a preparation from this week start with one core and one maths topic initially all right again i told you uh, this is altogether different for each student so third year student should start with different topics because when you are in fifth sem you also want uh, whatever you are studying in gate should help in your academics as well so you people third year typically don't know what stability is they don't know what uh, aircraft performance is properly they have not studied gas dynamics so keeping those topics in mind you should start with one core topic which will also help in your academics and one topic of maths which should help you throughout your core subjects also so if you study ordinary differential equation initially you will be good in structures you will be good in aerodynamics because everywhere you will be talking about differential equations all right so this is my strategy always in my uh, live classes batch in my video lecture series everywhere i will focus on students to do this thing in classes also we typically do this so focus on one core and one maths topic initially and keep on moving like this this should be in your plan also 
and as i already pointed out once topic is done please solve previously a gate questions this is the only check whether you have studied everything properly or not all right once this is done now you need to keep on repeating this till your entire syllabus is covered again as i told you you need to prepare a plan till what time your syllabus should be covered you know, till what time your test series should be over so for following up this i am creating this video lecture series now and uh, i will be publishing this in next coming days so this is the first lecture overall plan now the next lecture will follow related to aircraft structures what all topics you need to do you need to study basic elasticity bending torsion theory of failures column vibration and inside that what you need to study so in vibration you need to study one degree of undamped system uh, you need to study damped system multi degree of freedom system continuous systems or pendulum problems all these things you need to study right from where you will study that what you will study in torsion and from which book you should study same thing we will do for all seven subjects the corresponding faculties will come and create the videos i will uh, publish this in the same series and the most important thing which i want to focus here is the study plan so i will be preparing this for uh, third year students fourth year students dropout students and uh, <clears throat> working professional now guys this will be very general because it totally varies person to person so when we are doing this in batch right we will talk about we will talk with the student Uh, how much hours you can give on weekdays monday to friday and then how much hours you can give on saturday and sunday and keeping that in mind we need to prepare a plan because there's no point of me saying you should study 10 hours a day for the entire year then you will get uh, air1 it doesn't work like this so you will have uh, third year students will have their uh, university exams uh, in fifth sem then they will have in sixth sem which is very close to your gate exam so keeping these things in mind we should prepare a plan but still i will try to prepare a video in which uh, it will give you an idea how you should prepare your own plan and uh, this is all for self study when you're doing it on your own how or what things you should keep in mind uh, <clears throat> i hope i have answered everything uh, i have given you uh, at least a heads up at least a start uh, how to start your preparation because it's a very wide um, syllabus very wide uh, domain to understand how to start your preparation so just a last slide and this is nothing to do with the previous video that we are starting our new batch on 17th of feb it's a free demo class guys so even if you don't want to uh, join any class or join any preparation or any issues whatever so at least attend this because this will give you an idea again this kind of thing how the preparation is planned for the entire year in our batch so that even if you don't want to you can try to take some points and try to implement in your own uh, preparation strategy and move forward i really hope uh, that this video will be helpful and as uh, pointed out i will be creating more videos uh, to give more detailed uh, understanding of the gate preparation all right thank you so much guys i will see you in next video thank you